Good morning everybody. My name is Varun Rastogi and I am going to teach you science in 8th class. First of all, I welcome all of you to the 8th class and I hope all of you are safe and fine. From today onwards, we are going to start with the first chapter of science that is crop production and management. What we are going to cover in this chapter? We are going to cover in this chapter the basic terminology, crops, types of crops, agriculture practices, agriculture implements, manure and fertilizers, irrigation, crop production and animal husbandry. Now before starting with the chapter, I want to know why do we require the crops? Why do we require the crops? The answer is that we require the crops for food, for medicines, for fabric, for fuel, for spices. Normally plants prepare their own food with the help of process called photosynthesis. But what about the animals? What about the humans? Normally plants are called autotrophs and animals and humans are called heterotrophs because they cannot prepare their own food. They depend on plants and animals. Animals eat directly food or they hunt the other animals for their food or they directly eat the plants for their food. But what about the humans? Humans cannot eat directly the plants. They have to cook the food. And for that, they have to grow the crops. Why do we require crops? Normally food. What kind of food we are getting from the crops? Like vegetable, fruits, etc. In the case of medicines, all the Ayurvedic medicines like Ashwagandha and many more Ayurvedic medicines we are getting from the plants. Fabric, natural fabric we are getting from the plants such as cotton fabric and jute fabric. Fuel, we are using wood as a fuel and where we are getting from the wood? We are getting the wood from plants, from trees, spices means masala. Spices also we are getting from the plants like jeera, haldi, dhania. Now again one question arises that why do we require the food? Why do we require the food? But before that we should know what do you mean by crops? Crops means growing the same kind of plant on a large scale on a huge land that is called crop. For example, if I am growing the same crop of wheat or the same kind of plant such as wheat on a huge land, on an acre of land that is called crops. In the same way I can grow the paddy, the rice on a huge piece of land. So for example if I am growing vegetable fruits on my terrace so I cannot feed the whole people of the country or I cannot feed from those plants or vegetables which I am growing on my terrace or in my garden to all the people in our country but by growing the crops on a large scale I can feed or I can feed the people in our country now why do we require the food normally food contain all the essential nutrients like carbohydrates fat, proteins, minerals, etc. And why do we require food? Food is required to provide us energy and for other metabolic activities. Food provides us energy for our growth and development. It also repairs our damaged tissues and cells. Now, again the points come. When the agriculture started in our India, Around the 19th century, the agriculture practices started in India. Before that, the simply people were roaming here and there in the search of food and shelter. They used to hunt the animals, they used to eat the raw vegetables and fruits and they are simply searching the food and shelter. But after 19th century, most of the people were knowing the term called agriculture. Agriculture, it is a branch of science 
which deals with the cultivation of crops and rearing of animals. Now, there are different sources of food. For example, we are getting the food from plants and as well as from animals. What kind of food we are getting from the animals? We are getting milk, egg and meat. And what kind of food we are getting from the plants? Fruits, fruits such as mango, guava, pineapple, etc. In the case of vegetables, we are getting the ladyfinger, cabbage, cauliflower, potato, onion, beetroot, carrot, tomato, etc. Now in the case of cereals, cereals means wheat, paddy, millet means bajra, jowar, maize means corn, barley. In the case of pulses, pulses means dal, gram, gram means chana, peas, beans and etc. We eat all these pulses in our daily life. Now oil seeds, oil seeds are very important because we used to extract the oil from the seeds. For example, mustard oil. From where we are getting the mustard oil? We are getting the mustard oil from mustard seeds. In the same case, we are getting the groundnut oil from the groundnut seeds. And we are getting the sunflower oil from the sunflower seeds. Now, can you imagine that if I grow all type of crops in one state or in one region of India, it is possible to grow? No, it is not possible. Now, our crops depends on the climatic condition, rainfall and the type of soil. Now, in the different states of India or in the different states or in the different region of India, the different crops are grown. For example, if I want to grow mango in Jammu and Kashmir, it is possible? No, it is not possible. Because in Jammu and Kashmir, the temperature is very low and the farming of mango requires humidity, requires the hotness of climate. Otherwise, the mango farming, it is not possible. Normally, mangoes are grown in Gujarat, but in Jammu and Kashmir, we are getting apples. The apples are grown over there. Why? Because they require less temperature. We cannot grow the apples in our Gujarat state because they require less temperature. The favorable climatic conditions are not possible in Gujarat. Now, based on the different seasons, based on the different seasons, all the crops are classified into two types. Kharif crop and Rabi crops. Now, what do you mean by the Kharif crops? Kharif crops means the crops which are grown in the rainy season. For example, paddy rice, groundnut and in the case of rabi crops, rabi crops means the crops which are grown in the winter season. Okay, so even you can see the examples which I have given you in the notes. The first question which I have covered in the notes, that is it, that question can come for one mark. What do you mean by crops or define crops with the help of example? The words which I have underlined in the notes, those are keywords which should be covered in your answer. Then only you will be getting the marks in exams. Those keywords are very important. And in every question, for first two chapters, I am going to underline all the keywords which are very important according to the question and which should be covered in your answer. Second question. Second question is that different types of plants or the sources of food fruit vegetables cereals pulses and oil seeds the same question i can ask in the match the following okay if i'm asking two examples of cereals that question can come for one mark half mark for each example even i can ask all the four points or all the five points for five marks that tell me all the sources of food with the help of their respective examples. So in that case, you have to write all the sources of food with the help of their example. For this time, we are just completing till Kharif and Rabi crops and next section 
will be continue 